hey, Susie, could you watch this video? Do you think I look like a unt and an itch in this video? Does it make sense to you? Is it out of context? Yeah, I don't really know what's going on in this, so I don't know if it's gonna be received well. Like, you don't have to post everything that happens. Listen, was this British Asian TikToker way out of line for trying to call out this cab driver? And are we just gonna see more Asian Karens in the future? Let's talk about it. Yeah, man, we gotta talk about this viral video from this British Asian TikToker, Knock Knock. I think she tried to cancel this taxi driver, and crazy enough, she got canceled. Let's run the clip. You were trying to guess where I'm from because you think we all look the same. And then you said, oh, I couldn't tell like where you were from so I, because you look a little bit different. That's very racist. So, please don't get me wrong. My English is not the, as a perfect. Yeah. I, my girlfriend is, is Chinese. And then I love the Asian people because they're so polite, so kind. Right. We do as I like. There's a difference between you loving Asian people and there's a difference between you saying that we all look the same and that you were trying to guess where I'm from because I look different to them. To them is that that's the key word. So sorry so for them. I, it, is it I mean, long story short, Andrew, you could see from the clip, she's sort of berating this guy for these uh, offensive comments that she's saying that he made off camera. Obviously, we have no context. There's no recording of what the taxi driver said. He feels very apologetic. He thinks he's going to lose his job. He sounds like an immigrant from maybe like Turkey or Morocco or something like that. He's not native British. She's native British, even though she's Asian. And uh, ultimately, the internet just turned against her. Yeah, so uh, I get why the internet is kind of judging her right now. She had to delete... Um, turn off all her comments. She deleted the video. She did apologize now. Um, but let's just be intellectually honest here. Let's take a look at it. We will give our opinion of the situation at the end after we go through the comment section. So please hit that like button and check out other episodes of the Hot Pop Boys. Always breaking everything down from silly to serious. This sounds more silly, but I think there are some larger, more serious issues at play here beyond just what she did and knock knock in general. Let's get in the comment section. Somebody said in 2023... Everybody's offended by everything. And this is just an example of that. Golly, listen, I get it. Some people in the real world, they do say offensive things, but this is just taking it way too far. I don't even want to live in this society like this. Uh, this driver is just asking questions. Everyone knows this girl actually hates being Asian. She's whitewashed and just wanted clout. <laughs> Listen, right. guys, people went into her deep vault of TikTok videos and, you know, they analyzed it and they make, I'm not saying I agree, but they made character judgments on her. So I, like, when you make the internet mad, they will go through your history and analyze you. Well, here's the problem is that probably when she posted this, she thought she was going to get a large amount of support for, you know, this racist interaction and handling it this way. But in fact, it went the complete inverse direction and she got that much negative attention for it because people are like, oh my gosh, like, why are you trying to uh, scold this guy? He's being apologetic. This is not how you're supposed to do it. Things like that. So really, uh, it just really, I can only imagine what she's thinking right now. Yeah, and I think it, she came across as being like a nativist Karen picking on an immigrant. And people really don't like that, especially Asian Americans. We all relate to that immigrant experience. You know, sometimes the parents, they don't speak good English, right? Somebody said, uh, that's why you just got to avoid all minorities, man. Dealing with them causes nothing but trouble. This was minority on minority, though. Uh, this white guy said, anybody can ask where I'm from, whether it's Europe, Canada, or America, because all three of those places have shared characteristics. Listen, guys, when people ask that question, they're just asking you because you look like you're from a part of the world that has shared characteristics. Somebody said, listen, guys, I don't agree with knock knock either, but it is completely different when you're a minority. You just feel like it's okay to ask because you're white. Right, um, right. Andrew, this is, there's a lot of variance in the Asian community on how to react to this question because we all get this question. Yeah, and I think it actually, it, it, I guess it matters who asks it and how they ask it, to be honest, because just because you get asked like, oh, where are you from? That's a lot different than like, well, where are you from? Or because this guy is probably a Middle Eastern immigrant, he's very curious. He also does say he has a Chinese girlfriend, which was a little bit of a weird comment, but just given that his, the kid's command of the English language is not very high, I'll give him a slight break on it. But either way, he's just kind of like, oh, you know, I'm, I'm just asking, like, what are you from? Like, yeah. you kind of look similar to other people that I've seen. And then she's like, oh, no, that's quite offensive, and you need to stop. And I was just like... I don't know. You're kind of just dragging this out, knock, knock. Yeah, and it's bad because the way she framed what he said, it didn't sound that offensive. Who knows what he said or what the tone was, but the way she repeated it to the camera to try to incriminate him did not sound that incriminating. So anyway, somebody said, 
I'm Asian and I've lived in the UK. This is a very whitewashed UK Asian girl trying to look for drama. She's essentially somebody who grew up hating herself, but now she sees there's power in being Asian and is trying to use it clumsily. So I've heard, David, and I think your friend in London said this similar thing, that a lot of Asians in London, they can actually be even more British whitewashed than even Asians in America because in America we are very uh, color conscious, even though we still have our fair share of racism, of course, Race is a huge topic that we always talk right, about. We have uh, the black rights movement, uh, Latino movements, right? Muhammad Ali, Martin Luther King Jr., Malcolm X. They don't n know about any of that stuff in the UK. Right. They don't have those movements that happened in the UK. Now, I think people are also maybe peaceful with each other to an extent. However, there's definitely less talk about being proud of being your you know, yeah. immigrant background. It certainly seems, especially depending on class level in the UK, it's almost like more like a country club dynamic than the US as a country mm, dynamic. Yeah, she might just see herself as a British girl, but maybe she's like, oh, well, you know, I think I can get some Asian internet clout points from Next Shock and that crowd yeah. right now. Oh, yeah, no. Yeah, she was almost just thinking of it like a game, game, not thinking that she's playing with fire, especially her being a girl with a British passport, probably against somebody who does not have a British passport. Right, right, Somebody right. said this type of girl is the worst type of influencer. Auntie, and it's not the word auntie, self-entitled, thinks she's a celebrity saying something poignant all the time. This is everything that is wrong with the worst type of influencers. And these type of influencers are ruining society. Now, I actually think that this is a huge part of why she's getting this much backlash. Listen, if Knock Knock sees this or any other influencers are watching this, trust me. If you come across as one of those annoying influencers in your other content, and then you post something like this, this video is very 50-50 and it's very hard to determine what is going on in this. You will not get the benefit of the doubt. You fall into that category and you will be considered guilty until proven innocent because you fall in line with that image of that cloudy influencer basically yeah. the person who's just posting whatever they can to get points right on the internet. Like, you don't care if you're gonna come across as a karen you don't care if you're hurting this guy or scaring this guy you're doing whatever you can that you feel like is gonna earn you some clout right. points and in i'm moment. saying even if knock knock's intentions for this video were not that bad I'm just saying the rest of her content kind of feeds into Yeah, you're going to receive the outlet, the one little outlet on the damn reservoir yeah, yeah, yeah. of uh, dislike towards this group of people. Somebody said, oh, now she's sorry, what a clown. I was originally on her side, but after looking through her content and how cocky and into herself she seems on TikTok, I'm against her. Of course, like we said, man, this people is, will, uh, like, go through hey. and just break you down like a psychologist, like it's Silence of the Lambs. They're trying to give you the ink blot tests and everything. The pros and the cons of being an influencer. This Burr, other comment Burr. came to her defense lightly. It said, listen, I'm not agreeing with Knock Knock, but is she really deserving of all the nasty comments and vitriol on all of her other TikTok videos? She didn't do anything really wrong. She didn't report him to his company, and she can feel however she feels, plus we don't know what the tax Taxi driver said, taxi drivers, I hate to say it, have sort of this reputation, you know. I think that when you post a video and you think it's going to get a big positive reaction, you have to be ready that it gets a big negative reaction. That's a fact. Yep. So while I'm saying that, is it a little bit OD? Should people just spend their time and not have to think about knock knock as much and don't spend their time commenting? Yeah, but a lot of these guys, they feel like she's like a whitewash, like Asian girl in Britain. And a lot of angry, you know, kind of like dudes on the internet are gonna get at her about that. But I'm just saying, you also post content thinking it's gonna get a big reaction. So you just have to be ready for it to get a big reaction. And it might not be positive. Yeah, and not only that, I think other girls in America particularly don't like the way knock knock was acting because we they feel like she's jeopardizing legitimate claims of offensiveness because the the more illegitimate claims they are it casts a shadow of doubt on the legitimate ones and that really makes people mad yeah she's because you're jeopardizing the whole race or something exactly right? she's crying wolf maybe so this girl said uh you know i get asked all the time if i'm hispanic and people ask me why all the time why i don't speak spanish but i'm actually cambodian to me i don't get offended i just view it as an opportunity to teach people about my culture yeah um, I don't, I think I do agree. I think this comment is pretty sound, but I will say this. Not everybody can turn into teacher mode all the time. Like if someone says something ignorant, does everybody have that peace of mind? And does everybody have the time to be like, oh, excuse me, you've said something very ignorant and offensive. 
Do you mind? Do you have, do you have a second so I can sit you down and explain to you why? Right, because you don't even know if the uh, par- the offender party is even interested or receptive, right? Yeah, I would say in cases like this, I think, for example, this whole interaction that she had in the cab could have been cut a lot shorter. When she says she's about to leave, just leave and be like, "I'm sorry, sir. Great, you're you're sorry. I understand. No worries. Don't worry about your job. I'm out of here. Boom, and just leave. Just leave the situation because at the end of the day. It cannot be better for you. It doesn't make you safer in that situation. It doesn't make that other person feel better in that situation. Just end the 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 confrontation, period, like yeah. soon. Do you think that I, I, it just felt like she was somebody who probably was not very race conscious of herself until later in her life? And then now she's like playing with something she doesn't fully understand. It kind of reminds me of this guy I knew in college. I won't say his real name. Tony Gim, okay? This guy was from a really like rural part of the... Um, you know, whatever. And he like went to the city because we all went to college in the city and he was trying to ra- act really gangster and stuff like that. But sometimes he would just say the most like Malibu, most wanted, like uncalibrated things when he was trying to play that character. And she's almost trying to play a woke character, but clearly she's probably not an actual person who like knows anything about race or playing with this very fiery thing. So it comes out uncalibrated. Yes, this is a message to all influencers out there. If they have footage like this, uh, run it by a couple friends before you post it. Maybe she should have been like, hey, 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 Susie, could you watch this video? Do you think I look like an unt and an itch in this video? Does it make sense to you? Is it out of context, you know? And then their friends might have been like, yeah, I don't really know what's going on in this, so I don't know if it's going to be received well. And then she should be like, oh, maybe I won't post it. You know what I'm saying? Like, you don't have to post everything that happens. Listen, weird interactions happen all the time. I know for pretty women, of course, they get into a cab. I've heard this from girls that right. I know. Cab, Uber, that I- whatever. It doesn't it matter. It happens all the time. Listen, cab drivers, Uber drivers, sometimes they have a little bit of a reputation talking to the lone female who is attractive. Now, do they say anything horrible? I don't know. It rains. He might have said some creepy stuff. He might have said some uncomfortable stuff. Or maybe it was even not even at that level. It was just slightly awkward, like at, at a two out of five yeah, level or she, two out of ten she level. She probably could have, def- d- d- you know, stopped the conversation or something like that. I just don't think she needed to post this video because interactions go awkward all the time. We have, aw- I've had awkward conversations with Uber drivers. Not necessarily because they thought I was like a pretty girl, but like just because <laughs> right. like they're just. It was like a weird convo, you know? But I'm like, I'm not going around telling everybody that convo happened. Yeah, I think people just got to be careful when they're playing with fire. And like we said, you know, I, I'm a little bit surprised at the internet going against Knock Knock at a 10 out of 10 level. But like we were discussing, it might be due to this pent up frustration at the whole influencing culture in general. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Well, everybody, you let me know what you think in the comments down below. Um, based off the video evidence that you saw, Like, is this a right way to handle it? How else would you handle it? I'm sure a lot of people have opinions that they would do things differently. I get it. And also, you know, maybe just not everything needs to be posted on the internet. Stick to the bun me omelets, man. (laughs) Don't don't try to do it. Step into this zone. All right, everybody. Thank you so much for watching the Hot Pop Boys. Hopefully that was a helpful conversation. We keep things intellectually honest here on this channel. So let us know what you think on the comments down below. Click subscribe. Hit that like button. And until next time, we out. Peace. Peace.